Hello there, mga anak. This time, I will teach you how to use the Punnett square in mono hybrid crossing. But before that, let's have a simple review with these terms. Okay, para later on, hindi kayo malilito or hindi kayo magtataka kung ano-ano yung mga terms na yan. Okay, first, tandaan natin. Yung tinatawag nating phenotype. Okay, so, phenotype is the physical appearance of a trait. Okay, that's the physical appearance. Let's say, uh, sa tao, tall, matangkad. Meron din namang short. Okay, parang ako, ayan. Let's say sa flowers naman, yung colors nila, let's say, red flower. Yung isa naman, white flower. Ayan, so, phenotype, the physical appearance of a trait na nakikita natin. The other one is the genotype. Okay, when we say genotype, that's the set of alleles. Okay, set of alleles that an individual has. Okay, or alleles. So, ang keyword natin dyan is alleles or alleles, sabi nga nila. Or, yan yung genes na meron tayo. Okay, so that's the keyword. While phenotype, if we're going to review, that's the physical appearance. Yan yung keyword naman natin. So, example. Okay, so ang physical appearance natin is tall, short, red, white. What may be the genotype? So, to represent the genotype of a particular trait, gumagamit tayo ng letters. Okay, let's say gagamit tayo ng big letter T4 or capital letter T4, tall. Okay, yan, letter T. Okay. That's the genotype for tall. Okay, how about short? Let's say, gagamit tayo ng small letter T. Okay, so yan yung legend, legend natin. Yan yung genotype niya. Okay, kung red naman, let's say, capital letter R. Small letter R for white. So, this is the phenotype. This part are the genotype. Genotype or is represented by letters. Another, okay, na dapat natin tandaan, is yung pagkakaiba ng tinatawag nating dominant and recessive genes. Okay, dominant and recessive. When we say dominant, the express form of a trait, ito yung lumitaw sa'yo. Okay, ito sa Tagalog na lang, keyword natin, ito yung lumitaw, kitang-kita. While recessive, these are the trait that is not express. Ito naman yung trait natin na nakatago. Okay, so dominant and recessive. Let's see. Pinagmix natin yung uh, mother plant natin na red flowering plant tsaka um, white flowering plant. So, nung pinagsama natin yun, ang kinalabasan ng flowers ng plant is red. Wala tayong nakitang white. So, it, so, the dominant trait of that particular plant is red. And the recessive is white. Siya'y nakatago. But it doesn't mean na wala na siyang white trait. So, in the future or in the next generation, pwedeng lumabas yung recessive trait. Okay, nakatago lang. Nasa kanya pero nakatago. Yung dominant, yun yung lumitaw. Okay, example. Another one. Yung mama natin is matangkad. Yung papa natin is maliit. Or sabihin na lang natin, another example is, 
unat tsaka kulot. Yung nanay mo, kulot. Yung tatay mo, unat. Pero ikaw, unat. So, what will be your dominant genes? Yung pagiging unat na namana mo kay papa. Anong recessive genes mo? Yung nakatagon pero meron sa'yo? Yung pagiging kulot na namana mo kay mama. Okay. Ngayon, kapag ikaw ay nagkaanak, pwede mong may pasa yung recessive genes mo sa mga anak mo. Pwedeng mag-dominant sa kanila. So, pwede kan to magkaanak ng kulot. Okay, so that's the difference between dominant and recessive genes. Okay, ngayon, in monohybrid crossing, pag, pag dominant kasi yung pinag-uusapan, ginagamitan natin siya ng capital letter. Okay, capital letter. Pag recessive, ginagamitan natin siya ng small letter. Ayan, so ito, di ginamit natin kanina. Okay? So, ang tol, dun sa example natin kanina, siya yung dominant gene. Okay? Yung short, dahil naka-small letter siya, siya yung recessive gene. Ayan. So, capital kapag dominant, recessive, small letter. So, tandaan nyo yan, mga anak. Okay, another one na dapat nating tandaan, is the difference between homozygous okay, or yung tinatawag nating pure at yung heterozygous or yung tinatawag nating hybrid. Okay, so when we say homo from the word homo, Okay? When the two alleles of a particular gene are the same. Parehas sila. Let's say, yan, dominant tall. Okay? Or recessive short. Mm. Dominant red. Or recessive white. Di ba? Yung example natin kanina. Ayan. So, same sila. These genes are the same. Ayan, parehas, parehas, parehas. Okay? While, when we say heterozygous, from the word hetero, the alleles of a particular gene are different. So, nung ibig sabihin niya, maybe it is a combination of dominant and recessive. Pero dapat nakafocus ka pa rin sa same Uh, same type of gene na magkaiba lang ng um, trait. Okay. Pwede rin heterozygous R, R. Yan. Dominant and recessive. So, that is what we, call, what we called heterozygous. Okay. So, those are the terms na dapat nating Ah, maintindihan before we will proceed to monohybrid crossing using Panet Square. Okay. This time, tuturuan ko na kayo kung paano gamitin yung Panet Square in monohybrid crossing. Example. Okay. We will predict the genotypic ratio and phenotypic ratio of a parent. Okay? Let's say, ang example na lang natin, red flowering plant, homozygous, yan yung parent natin, homozygous, ano to? Dominant, red, okay? At let's say, sinama natin siya sa homozygous, okay, recessive. Let's say, recessive ay white. Pero gagamit tayo ng same letter para makita lang natin na dominant yan, recessive ito. Okay, recessive white flower. Okay, so yan yung ating parent. Okay, 
So, parent. So, punta na tayo. So, let's predi predict their first generation. No? Yung first filial offspring natin. F1. Okay. Yung ating panet square. Yan. So, apat. Tatiin natin sa apat. Here. Yung nasa labas, dyan natin isusulat yung parent natin. Parent. Okay? Yung nasa loob, dyan to natin isusulat yung ating mga anak. Okay? So, ang parent natin, first parent natin ay si homozygous dominant, ah, dominant, sorry, dominant, nang nakalagay, dominant red. So, take note ha, magkasama yan. To the same alleles. So, so, hindi siya pwedeng paghiwalayin. So, susulat natin siya sa taas. Since sila yung dominant. Okay, yan. So, R, R. The second parent natin is si homozygous recessive white. So, dito naman siya sa side na ito susulat. Magkasama pa rin sila. R, R. Okay? Then, Sulat na natin. Lagi nating um, unahing isulat yung dominant trait or dominant genes. So, R, big letter R or capital R. Then, small letter R. Dito rin, capital R, small R. Capital R, small R. Capital R, small R. Okay. So, that will be now our First generation. So, kung mapapansin natin dun sa first generation natin mga anak, okay, pare-parehas yung ating genotype. Okay? So, punta na tayo. So, we have here now our genotypic ratio. Okay? So, ano yung genoty genotypic ratio na lumabas sa atin? We have... Ilang capital R, okay, is small r. So, ilan yung ganito na lumabas? So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So, that is 4 out of 4 or 100%. Okay, kung, kung, yeah, kung baga natin, isusulat natin yan. So, we have here 100 percent heterozygous okay heterozygous r r kasi genotype naman yung pinag-uusapan natin diyan okay then let's proceed now to phenotypic ratio so pag sinabi natin phenotypic ratio ulitin natin the physical trait or physical appearance of a trait so, ilan lahat yung lumabas? Ano lang yung lumabas? Okay, so we have here R, R. So, 100, 4 out of 4 or 100%. Ano kayang kulay yan? Is it red or white? Take note, kapag magkasama ang dominant gene at recessive gene, okay, palaging dominant yung lalabas. Diba? Yun siya yung lumabas. Okay, nakatago, i-cover up niya si recessive genes. So, ang phenotypic ratio natin sa first filial will be 4 out of 4 or 100% red. Okay, so that will be our first generation. Next, okay, punta tayo dun sa second generation natin. Okay, yung tinatawag natin F2, second uh, offspring natin. Okay, so ano lang yung lumabas sa first generation natin na combination ng genes? Isa lang, yan lang. Okay, so yan yung gagamitin natin parent ulit natin. So we have here RR sa second generation times RR. Okay. So, proceed tayo sa ating Panet Square. Ayan, Panet Square. So, ano yung parent natin from the first filial? Ito, first parent. 
capital R, small r. Okay, then, second, capital R, small r. Now, let's predict their um, offspring. So, we have here, capital R, capital R. Dominant palagi yung mauunang sulat natin para hindi to tayo malito. Capital R, small r. Then, we have here, capital R, yun. Then, small r. Then, small letter r, small letter r. Ayan. Now, okay, kung mapapansin natin, dyan sa mga offspring natin or second generation natin, ilang combination na yung lumabas. Tatlong combination na. Ano-ano yung mga yon? So, we have here our genotypic ratio. Ayan. We have first, ayan, ilang RR ang lumabas. 1 out of 4 or 25% RR or homozygous RR. Then, we have here another one combination. 1, 2. So, ilan? 2. 2 out of 4 or, ilan yan? 50% RR. So, ano yan? Heterozygous, capital R, small letter R. Then, ilang small letter R na dalawa? Isa. So, 1 out of 4 or 25% RR or homozygous RR. Okay, so that will be now our genotypic ratio. Now, anong kulay kaya? Ilan kaya ang red? Ilan kaya ang white na lalabas? So, we have here now our phenotypic ratio. Okay, phenotypic ratio natin. So, we have here, yan, 1 R. So, dito, do, homozygous dominant RR. ba? So, ano yung RR ulit natin? Parehas na dominant. Anong kulay yung parehas na dominant natin? Red. So, eto ay red. Kung titignan natin. Red. Eto, heterozygous. May dominant, may recessive. Pero, ang lalabas ay red pa rin. Kasi siya yung dominant. Red. Then, homozygous, parehas na recessive. Since parehas na silang recessive, white. Lalabas na si white. So, here, ilang red ang lumabas? So, we have here, 1, 2, 3. So, that is 3 out of 4 or 75% red. Okay, kasi yun, red, red. At ilang white? 1 out of 4 or 25% white. Okay, so that will be now our phenotypic ratio. So, so mapapansin natin, dun sa second generation, lalabas na yung dalawang trait na pinagsama natin. Okay, so yan. So, that ends our lesson or topic for this session. So, that is what we call monohybrid crossing. So, if you have some questions mga anak later, you may, um, you may give me a message or send me a private message. Ayan. So, thank you mga anak. I hope ay may natutunan kayo dito sa video ko na ito. See you later!